Hello and welcome to another episode of Monday Markets. Is Bitcoin about to crash? It's certainly looking a little bit ropey. I'm going to take you through why I think this may be the case. Um, so I'm going to go through Bitcoin, Ethereum, uh, a couple of the other major pairs that you see on the right hand side. And then finally go through some alts to watch for some potential trades um, if things go the way I think they're going to go. We'll have a quick look at some of the macro environment as well, but there's not much going on this week. Uh, and then we'll finish off showing you. Uh, what we do on a little glimpse into what we do on the Learn Crypto Premium, which is the Earn Way Learn program, which is where I, I basically teach new newcomers how to trade safely and effectively. So, without further ado, let's quickly take a look at the macro stuff. So, as you can see, this week's major. US economic reports, Fed speaks, etc. There is almost nothing going on this week. Very, very boring week. So I think all price action uh, will be, you know, TA orientated. As you can see, next week's the big one with CPI, etc. But uh, yeah, this week, not much going on. So let's just jump straight back into the charts. So BTC, if go from higher time frame to lower time frame, we obviously rejected 29.3 last month. Uh, had a little bit of a red open into this month, but it's obviously still very early. Weekly time frame starting to break down a little bit more. We're in a clear downtrend from that uh, local top we put in in April and slowly breaking down. We've not had a weekly close below this sort of 26.6, 26.7 area yet. Um, so somewhat of a support there. But if we go to the daily, that's obviously where we find ourselves now at this all important daily range low uh, support 26.6, which has been a monster of a level support ever since uh, March, as you can see, held for a long time. And uh, as I say, this is essentially a range low. You've got your mid range here around 28K and your range high up here at 29.5. Now, in terms of range play, uh, it's very, very rare that you get a double deviation. So this is what a deviation is, where you break below and then you break back inside the range structure. We've had one deviation, which was uh, back on the 24th, 25th of May. However, if we get another break below this 26.6, that should signal downside to the 25.2k area. Now, I know I said this back when we first broke through, um, and that obviously turned into a bit of deviation slash short squeeze. However, as I say, it's very rare that you get a double deviation. So if we do get a solid daily close below 26.6, then I think there's a very strong chance we do break down to 25.2K. Now, what's another uh, factor that's given me some uh, some confluence and some conviction on that? If we go to the S&P, so it's been rallying quite hard last week. Now, Bitcoin normally follows the S&P. So when the s and is doing well, Bitcoin does well. When the S&P does bad, Bitcoin does bad. However, last week, as you can see, S&P in a very clear uptrend, especially go to the weekly, looking very strong the past three, four weeks, whereas Bitcoin obviously has been on the way, uh, has been on the decline the past few weeks. Now, the S&P is approaching some heavy resistance here at 4327. If we go to the monthly time frame. You can see this was the swing high we put in in August. We've not been there since. So uh, the monthly range high for the S&P. So I'm expecting a rejection here. And again, what gives me more confluence and conviction on that is the VIX. If you've not used the VIX before, the uh, the saying to remember is when the VIX is low, look out below. When the VIX is high, it's time to buy. So if you actually go through um, the VIX historically, all of these lows here are when uh, you know, the S&P and Bitcoin um, have put in local highs and the tops of the VIX is uh, on the VIX, sorry, is where uh, Bitcoin and S&P uh, have put in local lows. So that's what you want to be looking out for. When the VIX is low, you're probably in for a drop. When the VIX is high, you're probably in for a rally. So as you can see, the VIX is very, very low. I've not been this low since back in uh, June 2021. So I am expecting some downside uh, in the S&P, which I think will translate into downside into BTC as well. So that's where I'm getting my uh, conviction and confluence from. We'll have to see whether that plays out. Ethereum's looking a little bit stronger, um, if, especially if we go to the weekly time frame. You can see we've not traded below or you know not had a weekly close below 1783 weekly uh, weekly level. The monthly uh, is looking quite choppy, as you can see. We made a close above 1721, but just lots of wicks, as you can see. So you can't really gain any information from this time frame, nor really the weekly. It's trading in between the 2K resistance and 1783 support. Um, starting to tr form a little bit of a downtrend, but still early. Well, very early in the week. It's literally Monday. But uh, if we go to the daily in between the 1940 resistance and 1820 support. And again, we had a little push on Friday. Uh, Ethereum has been looking stronger than BTC recently. I'll go through the ETH BTC chart in a second. 
but uh, as you can see, not really broken any new local highs and as you can see, starting to trend down. So not too much strength there. If we do take a look at the ETH BTC chart then, so I've been talking about this the past couple of weeks. It's been trending quite nicely, especially after it broke over this 0 0.066 weekly resistance. It's breaking this, or it has broken this weekly bearish trend line. So what it really needs to do now is go up, uh, break that 0 0.07 weekly resistance, which is this swing high here from back in April. Uh, we've already put in a higher low here. Uh, so these lows back in March, we made a higher low here in April, May. So if it can break above 0 0.07 and hold there, then it would have made a higher high. And that's, you know, the formation of an uptrend, higher highs and higher lows. However, if it just sort of breaks down and gets back within this bearish trend line, then that's just a deviation. It looks very weak and ETH will probably just follow Bitcoin um, as it, as it well, if it drops, um, I should say. It's not guaranteed. Uh, Bitcoin dominance still not really doing much it's hit that resistance of 48 percent and just sort of hanging around obviously declining a little bit um as ETH btc has pushed up but as i say alts haven't really you know broken away from btc they've not really outperformed it that much um so that's all of the uh all the majors let's get into some alts then and some potential trades if things go the way i think they are so if we break dot down you can see it's in this monthly range and then you've got this mid range here, which is a weekly level at $5.57. We have been trading below that for the last well, three, four weeks. If we go to the daily, what you want to watch out for is this level here, $5.25. Now I said on Friday, if you get a, a close, um, well, so on Friday, so Thursday we closed below it and on Friday I said you could jump in here for a short um, with your um, invalidation basically being a daily close back above, which you got. So you could have jumped out quite early, taken a small loss. However, if it gets below there again, and obviously if BTC loses 26.6, then I think you're in for a, a, a fast drop down to the next day level, $4.71. Again, you've got a really nice risk reward. It's about a 10% move. Uh, you could easily put your stop loss maybe above yesterday's wick, um, and you've still got a solid three to one trade there. So. Uh, a play to watch out for, as I say, if Bitcoin does start breaking down, if DOT gets below $5.25 again, have a short and uh, ride that down to $4.71. Uh, VeChain, similar sort of scenario. So it has actually managed to hold its own weekly level, as you can see. It pushed above it um, two weeks ago, but didn't really manage to get anywhere. And it's coming back down to retest it again. If we go to the daily level, the devil, uh, the devil, the level you want to watch out for is the 0. 0.0, call it 0. 0.019 daily level support you can see it was a bottom here in may um tested again later in the month if it comes down here it gets a daily close below that then again you could short that down probably down to this level down here uh what's that about 0 0.01654 again you've got a nice risk reward once it breaks below short that down there and then you can put your stop loss uh maybe a little bit higher even a, a loose a very loose stop loss would be above yesterday's wick and that's still six that's still a two to one risk reward there but of course, wait for that confirmation of a daily close below 0 0.019 uh, and a nice little trade there. And then finally, BNB. So if we go to the weekly, uh, this had a deviation of the weekly range high quite a while ago. We jumped into a short on the learning crypto earn while you learn. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. We jumped into a short up here at the 330s. Uh, it's running quite nicely. And I, I, we're targeting this weekly mid-range daily level down here at 273. If you go to the daily, there's still a trade to be made. So it's been chopping around this tiny little range between 315 and 303. Um, basically since the beginning of May. We've finally got a break of this, or we're looking at a potential break of this level at 303. Um, as you can see, strong daily candle at the moment. If this closes around here, then look for a, a bearish retest of 303. Jump on that short and it should uh, run down to that weekly mid-range daily level, as I say. So that's a nice 10% move. Again, you could have a really loose stop loss of just above this resistance here, and that's still a two to one, and that's a huge, uh, yeah, you know, it's a huge stop loss. You could probably get away with uh, putting it just above, uh, what's that, the Saturday, Friday's candle. And again, I mean, that's almost like a 10, uh, 10 R. So not bad risk reward at all. I'll quickly show you the uh, screenshot of the trade we've made on the earn while you learn. So as you can see, entered around, oh, it's a little bit lower than I thought. I thought it was in the 330s. In the 328 we entered, uh, as you can see, still running. Only a 2x leverage because uh, the earn while you learn, very beginner friendly. Uh, so it is literally me making videos like this uh, Monday to Friday in the morning, showing you uh, the setups I'm looking for, entering the trades live on the camera, 
uh, or on the screen I should say, so that people can join in and follow along. Low leverage, uh, simple TA, you know, not using crazy indicators or anything like that. Really showing you how to build an account uh, using proper risk management uh, and not crazy leverage or overcomplicated indicators. I'll give you a quick preview of what that looks like. So this is the Learning Crypto um, platform, premium platform. As you see, we're on the OMOA Learn section. As you can see, Monday to Friday, every morning there's a video um, you know, going through the charts and uh, where the where I'm placing entries, TP, stop losses, etc. And then at the end of the month, uh, we do a review of the performance over uh, over the last month. So really, really good for beginners. If you've never you know looked at a chart before, if you've never been on an exchange before, literally showing you baby steps, hand holding. Uh, you know, showing you how to do do things safely and effectively, and then once you're uh, once you're pretty good at that, then you can jump into the Discord um, and follow our members trade section, as you can see. So this is the Discord you get access to um, when you join the Learn Crypto Premium. It's all in. Uh, so once you join Premium, you get access to absolutely everything on the platform, everything in the Discord. But as you can see, this is members trades. This is where um, all of our members jump in, share TA, share um, share their trades. And as you can see, it's very active, lots of trades going on, lots of TA, bounce ideas off each other, etc. Um, and just a really, really good community vibe, all learning off each other, different trading styles and all that good stuff. So if you like what you see, Learning Crypto Premium, we've got a free trial and we've also got the first month half price as well. Um, just follow the links below or go learningcrypto.co.uk and find out more. But uh, in terms of the charts, as I say, keep an eye on BTC. If it loses that 26.6K level, then I think we're in for a lot of downside. And watch out for the S&P as it approaches 4327, because I believe that will be a big resistance area. Um, and if it does go down, I think it will drag BTC and the rest of crypto with it. So hope you enjoyed the video. Um, there'll be a playlist on uh, some trading uh, TA uh, linked at the end. So uh, go check that out and also check out the Learning Crypto Premium, as I say, link below or learningcrypto.co.uk. Enjoy your week and I'll see you on Friday where we go through what happened um, over the week and uh, heading into the weekend. So have a good week and I'll catch you then.